click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the homoleptic as well as heteroleptic complex and now in this topic we are going to talk about the types of complex but based on the charge on the complex. So now let us understand this topic very clearly. So friends here we are going to talk about the types of complex but based on the net charge on the complex. In the previous chapter we have discussed about that is homoleptic as well as heteroleptic complexes. But talking about this type of complex. So for that we have three types of complexes. So talking about the first one that is cationic complex. Talking about the next one that is it is anionic complex and the last one is neutral complex. So what is cationic, what is anionic and what are the neutral complex? This is what we are going to talk about with the help of the definition as well as with the help of an example. So now let us understand the first one that is cationic complex. So friends talking about the type of complex that is the first one that is cationic complex. So therefore it is nothing but a complex in which the complex ion carries a net positive charge is called as cationic complex. For example let me give you an idea. Suppose if we have a complex that is FeH2O. 6 because in this case the 6 ligands that is the H2O ligands are surrounding the central atom that is Fe and so this is nothing but the secondary entity I talking about the primary entity in this case suppose if it is found to be Cl3 so in this case the ionic that is Cl minus ion so they are surrounding the Fe from the primary entity or from the primary sphere they are presented so suppose if this compound or if this complex is dissolved in water so therefore it will dissociate in such a manner that is we could get Fe H2 six times plus therefore even here we see we can find that is there are ionic Cl minus ions so therefore there are three Cl minus ions so if the overall complex consists of a zero charge but we can find that is the the primary sphere consists of three Cl minus ions so in that case the complex will have three plus charge on it and that's the reason that this complex is having a positive charge or we could say that is a net positive charge that's the reason this complex is called to be cationic complex or also we could call this complex as cationic complex because it can exhibit a positive charge or the net positive charge on it so this was one of the example and now let me discuss about the another example so that we could understand in a very better way so the next example is suppose if i'm discussing about that is nickel nh3 four times and suppose if this is Cl2 so in this case suppose if this gets ionized so therefore the product that is what we could get is we could get the following product where we can get that is nickel NH3 four times plus 2Cl minus because here basically the Cl or the chlorine atoms is present twice and whenever it will get ionized it will form that is two moles of Cl minus so in that case we could find that is so as to satisfy the primary valency as well as the secondary valency obviously we have to balance the charge also so in that case suppose if this acquires a 2 cl minus charge or we could say that is 2 minus charge that means the complex will acquire 2 positive charge and that's the reason this is a complex in which the complex ion carries a net positive charge and hence this complex is called to be cationic complex and talking about the next one that is we are going to talk about anionic complex so now let us understand what are anionic complexes so here we have the definition that is for anionic complex that is the complexes in which the complex ion carries a net negative charge are called as anionic complexes for example suppose if we talk about that is this k4 this is fe cn6 so this is a complex that is I'm talking about. So in this case, the potassium ions or the potassium atom is surrounding the complex over here. But the cyanide as a ligand, it is present in the secondary entity while we're talking about the potassium. So therefore, this is present at primary sphere or ionic sphere. So whenever this will get ionized or this compound will get ionized, so therefore it will form 4K plus along with that of the complex that is FeCn6. But here you can find that is if the potassium carries positive charge and there are four moles of potassium so equally there would be four moles of positive charge. So if four moles of positive charge are present then to satisfy this complex ion it will acquire four negative charge on it. 
and hence you can see that this this is a complex or this is a complex ion where you can find a negative charge on it and that's the reason according to the definition that is the complexes in which the complex ion carries a net negative charge are called as anionic complex so therefore this is nothing but an anionic complex we have that is k a g c n twice suppose if this is the example if i'm considering and suppose if this compound is the one if it get ionizes so therefore it will form one mole of k plus along with that of a g c n twice so what would be the charge on it obviously so as to balance the overall net charge so as to basically having a neutral charge on the overall complex so in this case whenever it will get dissociate it will form positive charge on the potassium ion while the negative charge on the complex ion and that is also minus one so now the both are being balanced in terms of the charge but if you talk about this complex this complex has been dissociated to a such a complex ion which carries a negative charge on it and that's the reason this complex is called to be an ionic complex so therefore this two are nothing but the anionic complex so talking about the last one that is neutral complex neutral complex as we understand that is this are the complex which will not carry any charge on it so for example suppose if i'm considering that is nickel tetracarbonyl nickel suppose if this is a complex if i'm considering so here again we can find that is there is no net charge on this complex and that's the reason that it is called to be neutral complex even though we can understand that this will not ionize into a primary ion or into a secondary ion that is what we have understood in the primary entity and the secondary entity this will not dissociate and that's the reason that it will not acquire neither positive neither a negative charge on it and that's the reason that this complex is called to be a neutral complex so talking about the other example related to the neutral complex suppose if you talk about this complex that is platinum which is present over here as a central uh, metal atom and this is the complex so here we can find that is the ammonia is associated with the platinum in fact even the chlorine atoms are being associated to the platinum and the both are present in the secondary sphere so that means there is no primary entity that you can see over here that means even though if we try to dissolve in water or in any kind of solvent this will not dissociate or this will not get ionized if it get ionized then only it will have a positive charge on the negative charge depending upon the atoms that are present in the primary entity so in this case there is no atom or no group of atoms which are present in the primary entity and that's the reason that it will not get ionized and that's the reason we could say that is it will acquire a zero charge on the complex and that's the reason these two complex are called to be neutral complex so therefore this was nothing but the types of complex based on the net charge on the complex ion and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood the types of complex and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much